Hey, what's up? This is Neil and Mechanic here at Aviator PPG. Today we're going to dive into the new motor from Viterazzi, the Factory R. So why did I take apart a brand new Factory R motor? Well, we really wanted to display what's inside these things. I don't think it's been displayed quite enough yet. I think that people think that maybe it's just an anodized crankcase and a nice chrome exhaust, which, yeah, it looks cool, but why is it so different? Well, I want to display to you, the viewer, and the potential buyer of a Factory R, why it is so different, why it is so special and unique. Why does it run so much smoother? Why does it have so much more power? So looking at the crankcase here, this is really the, the biggest piece of it. Look how consistent all of these mating surfaces are. Look at the ports in here, how smooth it, like if you could run your finger across it, it's perfectly smooth. These things are so consistent, being that they're made on a five axis CNC machine, the quality control is so much better. These are both solid pieces of 7075, being that it's made out of that, this is gonna last a heck of a lot longer. They're, they're figuring about 2,000 hours you should be able to get out of these things, which is, this may be the last motor you ever buy. Also, look at these studs. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but these are titanium. Titanium hardware is used throughout this entire motor. So you save a lot of weight and the hardware is so much stronger. Like this is something that you would typically see on like a works dirt bike. When mechanics are building race bikes, they use titanium hardware wherever they possibly can. Let's take a look at a standard crankcase from another manufacturer. See how these case halves are very mismatched. Now it's perfectly functional, but you can see how inconsistent these are going to be and how much better the factory are is going to be. If you also look at the connecting rod, it's just a forged connecting rod, which is perfectly adequate. But with the factory R, this is on an absolutely another level. All right, let's talk about the crankshaft real quick. This is machined in two halves out of solid 4140. So you've got a half here. This whole shaft is all solid steel, as well as this side. And then the connecting rod pin is pressed in. And then you've got this beautiful polished awesome 4140 solid steel connecting rod. This thing will last absolutely the life of the motor. They are dynamically balanced to give a ton of smoothness to the motor. This polished connecting rod here allows the air fuel mixture that's moving in throughout, in and out throughout the crankcase to be able to have as least amount of resistance as possible. Like a forged connecting rod has all this little rough surface here and it's just an, a, an additional detail in these things that makes it special. Now the factory R is coming with a cooling shroud. The cylinder has different transfer port timing, different transfer ports, and also the deck where the head fits to is 15,000 shorter to increase the compression ratio. Also comes standard with an iridium spark plug from NGK. The carburetor is much different. So we've got the throat diameter is 32 and a half millimeters. The bore itself is 27 and a half millimeters, obviously for more airflow. It's also got this little high injector here to help atomize the fuel better. This is the heart of any motor and especially the heart of the factory R. The factory R is designed around this carburetor itself. The reeds have different reed pedals on them for more airflow, better throttle response. They open up, open and close a lot quicker. The starter is much beefier. It is actually a lot easier to start this than most other motors. It's got titanium hardware. The other side of it here, as you can see, is a lot beefier than, than other motors. And this thing will last a very long time. It's super easy to start. It's quite enjoyable. This is the most standout piece that exists on the factory R. This is what everybody loves. This is the exhaust. A little bit shorter on the silencer. Instead of using stamp pieces, they've used kind of a cone pipe type of style where these all these rings that are welded together here instead of just one solid stamp piece. So these are really finely tuned exhaust. These things are awesome. So it's a lot more than just looks. There's actually a lot going on here. You've got carbon fiber air box. The carbon air box has a different shape and a different intake diameter so it can allow more air. A little bit lighter, it looks beautiful. Like this thing will last forever. It might even uh, make it through a prop strike or something, you never know. The pulley in the gate's belt has 15 grooves versus 13 grooves on the standard Moster to be able to handle the more power. The belt some of you may recognize is Gates brand. These guys have been around forever making belts. 
they know what the heck they're doing with belts and they, this will last a heck of a long time. Let's talk about the Carter support. So the Carter support is also 7075 five axis machined here. You'll see all these nice little contours. Um, this is solid billet 7075, so this thing will last the life of the motor as well. If you look at these, you've got these beefy, gnarly motor mounts. This is also going to help smooth out some of the vibration as well. And here you see the carbon fiber exhaust bracket it saves weight and it's super strong. This, this whole setup is gonna last the life of the mortar, no problem. This is, the main thing about the factory are, is not only performance, you get a ton of performance with it, but these things are gonna last a long time. They're so refined, they're so well built, so well balanced that they're just gonna last, probably the last, could be the last paramotor you ever buy. So hopefully you've learned a ton about the factory R. Hopefully you've seen a lot that you've been wanting to see or maybe been curious about. We have them available here at aviatorpbg.com, so if you're looking to buy one, hit us up. I'm Neil from Aviator. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one.